Hi, is the astrophotographer world in a crisis? And yes, that was a hook that exaggerates the problem, so you'd be interested in a fun little challenge I have for you. In photography and astrophotography especially, there have been a proliferation of neural network models and tools used to help enhance your images. Neural networks have recently been rebranded as sort of artificial intelligence. Examples are noise exterminator and topaz denoise, which help get rid of noise in your images. Cosmic Clarity and Blur Exterminator help sharpen and deconvolve your images. Don't get me wrong, these tools are great at making great images even better, good images great, and mediocre images look good. I've made a couple myself, and I'm in the process of remaking them. But as someone who overthinks things at times, I keep wondering as I tweak AstroSharp, are we becoming too reliant on these tools? And then I thought, it would be fun to create a friendly competition for the community where no artificial intelligence or no neural networks are involved. I'm calling it the Real Intelligence Challenge. Will you be crowned champion? Welcome to Deep Sky Detail. So what is the challenge? Well, I have about 30 hours of data collected with an Orion ED doublet on my Orion Sirius mount of Messier 33 and Bortle 6 or 7 skies. The data were taken using five filters, L, R, G, B, and hydrogen alpha. There's nothing special about the data. I don't have the best equipment. I don't have the worst, but I processed it to get this image. There are problems like stacking artifacts, field curvature. It may be a bit undersampled. The seeing was a bit better than I thought, but I'm generally pleased thanks to the amount of imaging time I was able to get on the target. The thing is, I didn't use any sort of artificial intelligence tools on it, not even my own. It looks okay. I know that one, a lot of you could do better with the same constraints, meaning with not using neural network. And two, some of you might just want to process someone else's data. I want to see what you can do. Whether you're a novice or an expert, I'm sure that you can come up with something awesome. There is a small prize for the winner, more on that in a moment. But as I go over the rules, in the background, I've got a screen recording of me quickly processing Messier 33, just as an example. Let me know if you'd like me to put out a video on how I processed it. So what are the rules? First, you need to process my Messier 33 data somehow. Download the data by going to my GitHub link. Click the green button and download everything as a zip file. When you process the image, you can use one filter like the luminance filter to create a monochrome image or all five filters to create a color image emphasizing Messier 33's mini nebulae. It's up to you. You need to submit your final image to deepskydetail.challenges at gmail.com by February 10th, 2025. The work should be your own and not someone else's. Okay. So what are the restrictions? Well, there can be no AI tools that use neural networks to process your image. None. No BlurX, no Topaz Denoise, no Cosmic Clarity AI tools, no AstroSharp, except for one tool in AstroSharp. One of AstroSharp's tools is Star Mask. It creates a star mask. It doesn't use neural networks. You can use it if you'd like, but keep in mind that one, it's a bit slow, and two, there are probably better tools out there. But what about Star Exterminator or StarNet++? Nope. <laughs> Craxpert? Not the AI tools. Those are neural networks. What about Photoshop? Any tool in Photoshop that is not artificial intelligence is fine. If the Photoshop tool uses neural networks, then you can't use that tool. I want to see how well you can take average to mediocre data like mine and make it shine with real intelligence. So how will things be judged? Well, I was thinking that for all the submissions, I'll create a video highlighting what I think are the best submissions. I might get other astrophotographers or non-astrophotographers to rate them too, just to make sure I'm being fair. If you're part of my Discord, I might post some of them there to get people's thoughts. Feel free to join me if you'd like to be part of the process. I'm going to try to keep everything blind, so I'll download your image from Gmail put it into a folder with a random number and assign your name to the random number and then rate the images. Then in February, after the submission deadline has passed, I'll take the images and make a video on them. Then I'll take those that got the highest ratings and reveal those as the finalists. I'll upload the finalists images to GitHub. 
I'll then include a poll in that video for you, the community to vote on. You will choose the real intelligence champion. But wait, I hear you asking, how will you know if someone followed the rules and didn't use AI tools? Well, I'm really hoping that the community will be honorable and do the right thing. I pretty much trust you. But any submission must be reproducible. So after you submit, I may email you back asking for details about how you process the image, especially if you're a finalist. I will then try to process it similarly. I reserve the right to disqualify your submission if I suspect AI was involved. But really, I just want to have a bit of fun and foster creativity. Sometimes putting restrictions on things makes people think outside of the box. So what will you get if you win? It might be fun to give the winner a deep sky detail Bachtenoff mask. It actually works. The letters are lined up with the lines that create the diffraction spikes. There are also little nubs. I'm not sure if you can see them, little nubs. If you live inside the US, I'll ship it to you. If you live outside the US, I'll send you the SCL file so you can print one yourself. If you like Bakhtanov mask and just want to print it today and don't want to enter the content, I put the STL file on buymeacoffee.com. You'll need a 3D printer, but the file is free for Buy Me A Coffee members and channel members. It's $5 for non-members. If you have ever supported me on buymeacoffee.com here on YouTube or GoFundMe, you can email me to get the STL file for free. Above all, I just want this to be a fun, interesting challenge. If, if you like it, we can keep doing these things. If you need some inspiration on how to process galaxies, I've got a couple tutorials here. Thanks for watching.